How did I start this video last time? I just want to check how I started the video. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome to another talk time video where I sit and talk about something relevant or maybe something not relevant. It depends how I'm feeling on the day. So for today's video, I thought as I talked about why I'm at uni or how I got to uni in the last video, in this video I'll talk more specifically about the course I'm doing which, as you'll probably know, is film and television production. So as I mentioned in the last talk time video, I kind of sort of fell into doing film and TV after I didn't really know what to do after my GCSEs and I saw a picture of this big studio which I thought looked wicked. I went and looked at the course, it sounded good and I went and did that. Prior to that I had messed about um, doing my own filming. I'd got a little sort of, uh, Panasonic candy cam. Actually let me find it, I'll show you what it was. I'm pretty sure I've still got it. If I don't I'll be annoyed. I've still got it which is good. I had this little camera, it is a Panasonic HX DC2. It's got a little flip out screen on the side, wallet, and it's just got like the few buttons on the back. It can do full HD um, video recording and take photos. And I remember getting this and I was so excited because it meant I could film stuff. I, I think I'd used it a lot for taking photos to be honest, um, even though it's not like a proper perfect camera. Yeah, I started off like just filming stuff on this. I filmed stuff for, our, for my DOV on this. I put it together on like iMovie, I think, just with some music. But anyway, enough of that nonsense. So I started doing the course at college, um, which is where I learned all my basics about film and TV. But we, we sort of quickly learned how to operate the cameras that they had and how to edit on Final Cut. Pro 7, which is where I sort of learned my basics, and we did all sorts of cool modules on that course, and then I moved to university, which is what I actually want to talk about rather than waffling about other things. So during the first four weeks of our uni degree course, we had four weeks of, I think it was called production skills, there was one week of cinematography, one of photography, one of editing and one of sound recording and sound design and those first four weeks were really I think just to make sure everyone was on the same level I don't know if all other courses in other unis do that for me I was like oh god I hope it picks up a bit more than this but obviously that's because I'd done it before and it was just to make sure everyone else was kind of at the same up to speed and at the same level which I guess is fair enough I don't think after the first four weeks we were taught loads about like practical production skills. The first assignment we had, or the first little project, was a three to five minute film called Coffee and Cigarettes, which is like a series of film by a director called Jim Jar Jarmish, I think it is, Jim Jarmus, something like that, I've probably got that completely wrong. And in that film, we had to replicate his style or somewhere in the film, you could talk about whatever you wanted, but they had to mention coffee and cigarettes, pretty simple. But we weren't taught loads about it, they kind of just let us do it, and then when they watched it, that was when they were like, okay, you haven't done this very well, this is good, but you need to do this again, or stuff like that. After that one, in our second semester, we did another short film, that was about three or four minutes, and that could be whatever we wanted. We wrote the script ourselves, came up with the concept ourselves, and shot it all ourselves, so it had to be, it had to improve on the first film, obviously, anything you do, you improve the next time you do it. But again, we still hadn't really been taught tons about production stuff, I don't think. For me personally, I think so, I'd done it before, maybe I didn't notice it, but I think if you hadn't done anything before, you would have learned a lot. They do cut you through in the deep end and say, right, within eight weeks, you're going to have gone through pre-production, production and post-production of a whole film. It, it's three minutes, but that's like, it sounds easy, but when you have to plan so much and they always want you to have the correct like legal release forms and all that jazz it is quite a bit of work it always takes longer to edit than you think moving on into year two which is the year i'm in now um it definitely ramps up so we had a talk at the end of the first year about all the module choices and those loads and you have to pick four and that's then where you can pick what modules you want to do so you can then start tailoring the course to what you want i don't think i'd ever want to go and work in a film i don't I can't really put a finger on why. I think I just prefer the aspect of TV and TV studio broadcasting and I love post-production so I kind of tailored mine to be very production based, some TV, some post-production. I picked children's TV, advanced production, advanced post-production and sport. So in our advanced production that's where we learn a lot more about 
the technicalities of how cameras work and the settings you should use and what setting does what and how you create different feels for the audience through your use of camera and use of sound design and it was all about going out and actually recording stuff, shooting stuff, um, recording sound, setting up lighting correctly and all that sort of jazz. And I learned a lot in like the first few weeks of this second year, I learned a lot and it's similar to post-production advanced post-production where we're taught new skills and we have to go and film stuff for that and then put it into practice. And some of the stuff with post-production I've kind of taught myself because I've wanted to do stuff for my own projects and I've not known to do it so I've kind of taught myself but it is good to like have it properly taught to you. So I think definitely learned a lot more in this semester. Broadly speaking on a film and TV course you can learn an awful lot as well as all the practical stuff which you kind of expect and I looked at looked, looked, did. I looked for a course that was very practical I wanted it more practical than theory and now our courses I'd say about 70% practical and 30% theory and you learn a lot about that sort of stuff but then you also have to do because it's a degree you have to do your theory stuff which it can be a bit boring but it's fair enough you have to do it and it can be interesting at times you learn a lot I've learned quite a lot from it about like the history of film and stuff after a film and TV degree or specifically mine it's probably similar in other unis you could quite easily I think walk into a production environment knowing all the skills that you need as well as having historical context stuff and knowing the theory behind why you do something or why something works the way it does um, that sort of stuff. It is very, a very broad course, I guess, especially mine because it's film and TV. There are courses that just do film or just do TV or just do radio. You can teach yourself how to use a camera or you can teach yourself how to edit. And I taught myself how to use some Premiere Pro the edit software that I use all the time now. I taught myself that before I went to uni. I don't think I'd ever know any of all the, like, the legal stuff that goes into making film and TV projects. The amount of forms we have to fill out when we're making a project, even though it's a student film, especially with kids TV, we had to be really careful about making sure that we had all the correct forms off the kids' parents, obviously, because that's a big, could be a big issue about using kids and stuff. So we had to be careful on that one. I don't think you can ever really sort of teach yourself fully how all that stuff works. You can never really understand like the history and context behind film and TV stuff, which is why a uni course is so good. And I know I'm biased towards my course because it's the only one I know. It's probably similar in other unis, but then that depends on whether you want more practical or more theory. Some places will do a lot of theory stuff, which if you're into that stuff is great. Some places will focus a lot more on practical, which is what I looked for because that's what I want to go into. I want to be hands-on with cameras and editing and lighting and sound and all sorts. That's what my sort of forte is. The best bits for me have definitely been when we've kind of been left on our own to go and make a film or go and film something, go and just be creative. Theory stuff is less enjoyable but it's not it's not terrible it is still important to do that stuff and all the essays are important to write i remember my college tutor telling me something on the open day i went to and he said you once you do a course like this you never watch a film or a tv program the same again and it is so true it's quite frustrating at times how you can be watching a film and you're not like sort of concentrating on what's going on you're thinking more like oh i wonder how they filmed that shot or i wonder if this was edited that way on purpose i wonder if that sound did was on location or has been dubbed over after. I wonder if that's green screen, if that's like a purpose-built set. It is. It can be quite frustrating at times because I do find myself just sort of zoning out from the film and thinking purely about practicalities of how this film will be made. So that is basically my film and TV course. If you're watching this and you're looking to go into a film and TV course, I definitely recommend it. Um, it is a lot of fun. You learn a lot of skills, not just about TV and film, but sort of a big one is communication skills which is obviously can be used in any aspect of life I guess. I would also recommend like I said in the last video just go and look at the unis, go and see what equipment they've got, see if the course is right for you because I know some people have gone into courses it wasn't what they expected and it was more theory based than practical so it's so important to go and look, go and talk to the lecturers on the course. I'm really pleased with the course I'm on. It's perfect, perfectly suited for me. I think I'm going to stop waffling now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And on the last video, it got way more views than I was expecting and had like way more thumbs up than I was expecting. So thank you very much for that. If you find these videos informative or interesting or you want to know more about this sort of jazz, please subscribe to my channel. These videos will go up every week as well as the vlogs every Sunday. I'll see you next week. 
I shall see you Sunday with a vlog and I'll see you next week with another talk time where I'll be talking about something else. I don't know what yet. Bye bye.